And you grab me like Sir, that? Sir, you want to be seen or not? And you grab you me like that? you want to be seen or not? Hi everybody, so today is Monday the 29th. This is starting my second episode to my vlog series where I'm vlogging weekly for you guys and putting a video up every week for you. Basically just bringing you along throughout my life. Um, my life was a little bit different, a little bit different last night. It's like one o'clock in the afternoon. Um, I woke up like two hours ago, which is not the case. Usually I'm up very early on a Monday to go to work, but I was in the hospital last night for, I had really, really, really bad abdomen pain and I went to patient first and they sent me to the hospital saying that they think it was my appendix. Come to find out it wasn't my appendix. I was there for eight plus hours <laughs> and to find out I have a cyst on my ovaries. So I have to go talk to my GYN about that um, because it is a fairly large cyst. So they just want them to monitor it because I may have to either have it removed or have my ovary removed. Um, so we didn't get home until like 4, 4.30 in the morning. And so we both called out of work and we just slept. And I feel a lot better. I mean, that's good. we didn't sleep like long, but like I'm not as tired as I was when I went to wake up at seven o'clock this morning. So I'm gonna pick up my coffee and then we'll probably go do a little bit of Pokemon hunting where we just kind of drive around and get some Pokemon and then head back to the house. It is currently Thursday morning. Um, I'm in the line to get coffee from Duncan because <laughs> I've been doing so well, like not drinking my energy drinks, which those are what I'm really trying to cut out. I'm not trying to cut out caffeine. I'm trying to just cut out energy drinks because of how bad they are for you. I mean, caffeine by the bucket loads is bad for you, but one coffee every other day is not gonna hurt you. Um, it's the energy drinks that I was drinking one to two a day that I was trying to cut out because those are really bad for you, for your heart, for your body. And so I'm like sitting in line and this woman is like staring at me through her side view like mirror. And I'm like, why are you staring at me? It's also my daughter's birthday. Um, we couldn't get her hair done, but I'll explain that in a second. So we couldn't get Maddie's hair done yesterday because my hairstylist, um, she is like pregnant and she was having some Braxton Hicks issues or whatever, but I mean, obviously I'm not going to be like, well, you better do my daughter's hair. <laughs> like, no, she's also a friend of mine. Like she's not just my hairstylist, she's a friend of mine. And, um... So Maddie was a little bit upset about that, but I think she's gonna be okay. Um, she understands, you know. Mom's had four babies too when she's a little bit older, so she gets it. Um, so today is Maddie's birthday. She is 12, oh my God. And I was just sitting at the house and I was like, oh, well, I'm gonna get a coffee and because I'm dying of energy. And I'm going to also, get a dozen donuts for her to wake up to. She's not, she's not gonna eat the whole dozen, calm down. But if she wants to, she can. <laughs> so I, oh God, I've had so much going on. And I'm just like, it's just a lot, it's a lot. And I'm like freaking out about like my physical health. I'm freaking out freaking out about like school starting and I'm going back to the office one day a week and I'm just everything is like doing a shift like a complete freaking shift and I feel like I can't grab on to go with it <laughs> I can't catch up kind of situation but I'm just I'm not I don't know at this moment I'm at 1900 calories and it's like 175 milligrams of protein but I just I don't know. I don't, I'm not unhappy on the diet. No, I don't like saying diet. I'm not unhappy on my journey. I'm just, I just feel like everything else is like driving me crazy. So, I don't know. And then they're working on this dang house here that a tree freaking went through. So I came out the other day to go to the gas station um, and there were like four or five guys sitting there, right? No big deal. They're like staring at me. And we're not talking like just staring at me, whatever, no big deal. We're talking 
Like these men stared at me all the way down the driveway, all the way into my car, all the way to me reversing, all the way to me leaving. And people are, you know, probably like, oh, I think you're so pretty. Don't do that. Don't, don't stare at me to where I have to like get in my car quickly and lock my door. Don't do that. It's so freaking uncomfortable and gross behavior. I don't know. Okay, so change of plans for today. <laughs> I forgot that I was supposed to be in the office today. So we started going back on Mondays um, once a week. That's really all we're doing right now. Um, whew, yeah, right. And I've been teleworking for almost three years. Um, so once a week, that's what we're doing. And Monday, because I was in the hospital and didn't get home until like 4.35 o'clock in the morning, I winded up calling out. Well, I called out Monday. And so I decided I don't have, I didn't have to come in this week, but because they're switching my desk from where it is to where I, a different spot that I wanted, um, I was like, okay, well, I'll come in Thursday. I forgot. I forgot. So I'm literally sitting there and I'm, I clock in at six o'clock every morning. I clocked in today. I was working, but I forgot that I was supposed to be in the office and not at home. So like 930 rolls around and I'm like, like, it's one of those things that hit you and you're like, something's off. Something's wrong. And I was like, oh my fucking God, I was supposed to be at the office. So I messaged my boss. I'm like, listen, I forgot I'm coming right now. So I had to rush and get dressed. Like I hate rushing to get dressed. I am the prepare the day before kind of gal. Like if my outfit is not ready, I will lose my mind, right? So I'm getting dressed and I'm like out of fucking breath at this point stomach fucking hurts because of the issues I'm having and I'm just like oh this is fucking bullshit I'm like jetting out to my car I threw a bunch of like fucking nonsense in my bag for lunch I have my laptop I have everything I need except for my fucking oxygen so I'm on my way to do that now I have to stop at the gas station and then I'm on my way but I'm just like dude I'm telling you <laughs> I just Am I the only one that I feel like ever since COVID hit really hard and we all kind of got shut down and locked down and whatever you want to call it, like just everything is like, if I don't write it down or set an alarm for it, I forget that it even fucking exists. So here I am four hours late going into the damn office and I'm just like, oh, my bad. And another thing I'll have you know. I thought it was gonna be chilly because it's been like chilly this morning. No, now that I'm like in the sun, it's like 80 degrees and I have a sweater on. Whatever, it'll probably be cold in my office, so. <laughs> I swear, if you guys are gonna be following me and following along with my vlogs, you are going to realize like I am not what you saw on my YouTube channel previous years. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome. No, I am not put together. I'm a freaking mess. <sighs> I just gotta get it together. I just gotta, I just gotta get it together. But these are the things that like, I want you guys to be a part of. I want you to kind of like, I want to make myself more real to you, if that makes any sense. Because I think that we as a whole, have this misconception that like influencers, I hate that name, content creators, are like these amazing, perfect beings with, you know, no problems, no financial issues. Like they can just buy and do whatever they want and they just film all day. And you know, what a, what a job that would be. It's not like that. It's not, honey, it is not like that. It is hard work. It is hard work. It is tiring. It is stressful because on top of like everything else, like I've been telling you that's going on right now, like I have to film. So I have to film, <laughs> I have to film my hot mess situations with people. And I think like as surprising as that, like, or as bad as that sounds, 
I feel like it's actually not because one, I feel like my vlogs, I can also kind of like get my stress out. Like this is what's bothering me. You know, da, da, da. someone to talk to if you want. Happy Friday, everybody. I am currently getting ready to leave the gas station. So let me make sure I'm paying attention. Yesterday was crazy. I was gonna hop on last night and tell you guys everything that's been going on, but I had to go to, into the office. It was my daughter's 12th birthday. I had open house for my um, elementary school student. I just, it was so much going on with back to school starting, everything. <laughs> Okay, this week has been a mess. I promise that hopefully my vlogs will not always be this messy, but girl, this week and last week are messy and it just is what it is. So, I'm sure, hold on. I can't ever see. This is gonna wind up kiss me one day. So, let's start. Last Tuesday, I started having some really bad pains in my stomach and like my upper abdomen and I was kind of freaking out because my husband had had his appendix taken out a couple months ago so it kind of like brought knowledge to that like oh my god it could be my appendix so I decided to go to patient first which is like urgent care in my area and the doctor poked at my stomach a little and was like yeah it's your appendix you're gonna have to go to the hospital oh my god right so I don't think it's my appendix I'm not a doctor I do what he told what he tells me to do I go to the hospital. Trigger warning, if you do not like needles or talking about blood, you're not gonna wanna listen. You might wanna skip a few minutes because I'm gonna talk about my experience with having my blood drawn. So just so you know. So I get there and I'm like, you know, sitting and waiting and then they take me back to get my blood drawn and I tell the nurse, and I tell him, I said, hey, you might wanna do my right arm. And they're like, no, we want your dominant hand to be free. And I said, I understand that, but my really good vein is here. And so the guy was like, no, we're gonna do your left arm. Sticks me with the needle, misses the vein, I'm bleeding everywhere. I look down, I almost pass out. Now, mind you, I have a phobia of needles. I have a phobia, like I literally cry if my husband is not there holding my hand, keeping my mind off of it, okay? Like I really do not like it. So mind you, the tourniquet is also on my arm, very tight, like it's supposed to be. So he pulls it out, he sticks me again in another spot, completely blows the vein. I'm bleeding, it hurts, goes and gets another guy. He comes over, he uses an ultrasound and he stabs me through my forearm to get to my vein. When I tell you I was in, like it makes me wanna cry right now because of the experience I had because I literally, it was the worst. And then, and then before they even drew my blood, they had known patient first drew my blood on my right arm and the one charge nurse, so the head nurse was like, patient first was able to find a vein. Mind you, your nurses just took three stabs at my arm, completely rocked my arm and my veins to get, to get one, one spot, okay? When I told them right arm, left arm doesn't have a lot of visible veins. At this point, I now know that at future times, if they refuse to do in my right arm, I'm just gonna tell them then they're not getting any blood for me. At that moment, I was just so upset about everything going on that I kind of just was like, whatever, do what you have to do. But it was a really bad experience. Like my arm is okay. I'll put a photo up because I don't know if you can see it really anymore. It's okay now. I mean, like it's still bruised, but this was so bad. Not only was it bad, it was swollen. I'm talking like it looked like I had a little golf ball in my arm. So I wound up making them take out the IV a couple hours later because it hurt so bad I could not have the IV in. I was like, I don't care what medicine I'm gonna have to take. It'll have to be orally because this has to get out of my arm. So fast forward, I get a CT scan. I'm still in the waiting room. I'm being treated, blood work, CT scan in the waiting room because they're so busy. Mind you, the whole night it was me and like, one or two other people. I'm not even kidding. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. At least when I waited at the other hospital, there's like rooms, like there's a whole emergency room full of people. This was me and like one or two other people in the span of like five hours. I don't know what's going on. Obviously there could be emergencies coming in the ambulance. I get that, okay? I'm not bashing people. I'm not bashing the emergency room, but mind you, I sat in the waiting room for five hours basically being treated. So they do the CT scan. They bring me back finally and they're like your appendix is fine but you have an ovarian cyst it's a large ovarian cyst 
So we have to do an internal um, ultrasound. They also gave me a pelvic exam. And if you know, you know, I'm not going to explain what that is. Okay. <laughs> if you know, you know, and they don't have stirrups in this emergency room, apparently, or this emergency department. So they, they got a bedpan, a bedpan. If you don't know what that is, is what you urinate in when you're unable to get out of the bed, flipped it over and had me on, on top of that, which is fine. You have to do what you have to do, but it's like, why do you not have at least one bed in this emergency room with stirrups in it? And I get it. You don't have a GYN like department in your emergency room, but you still have female, like you just still have females come into the emergency room that may have issues. With, that's a different, I digress. So anyway, so they get me up on that and then they do the internal ultrasound just to make sure I have okay blood flow to my um, ovary and nothing is blocking it and it's not, there's no torsion, which means it's twisted, um, which apparently I would know because it would hurt really bad. So, I mean, I was in pain, but apparently not to that pain. So it's like 5.1 centimeters. So it's just a little bit over the largest size that they, so there's like, I think it's like three to five centimeters. They're like, eh, it's not that big of a deal. Five to 10 or something they're like worried about because they could do torsion, which is twist my ovary, cut off the blood flow, my ovary would die, et cetera, et cetera. She does the internal sonogram. She's like, it looks good. I mean, I was literally walking out of the hospital, getting dressed, walking out, open the curtain. Here comes my doctor's eighth hour. Like I did a whole ass full shift of work at the hospital. Okay. Um, to tell me that basically there is nothing they can do, which is fine. I have to see my GYN to figure out if they want to remove it, remove the ovary or just monitor it and have a good night. So I'm still having issues. I'm still in pain. So you guys know obviously for the past week or so that I've been trying to work out and do all that. I can't do that because I don't want it could rupture at any time and if you've had an ovarian cyst then you know the pain that comes with that but there's no like there's nothing they could do about it but it could rupture at any I could be walking or I could be sleeping but they don't my GYN doesn't want me doing physical activity to speed up the process if you will or cause it to rupture. So I can't do any weightlifting or anything like that. So that's awesome. Um, and then they can't get me in until the 21st of September, which by the way, again, trigger warning, blood issue coming. If it ruptures because it is so big, I could bleed internally. And I'm just like, but there's nothing anyone can do. There's nothing anyone can do. There is not a single thing anyone can do for me right now other than hope to God that I can get to my GYN and they take care of it. I'm hoping that they remove it. I understand like surgery if it's not necessary, but I don't want to be walking one day and it just rupture and I'm in excruciating pain. It could be bleeding internally. I don't want that or the torsion thing. I don't want to risk any of that. I just want it removed and gone and I'm just, I'm not having a good time. I am so overstimulated right now with that going on. Cause it's like, it's one of those things, like, you know, those questions where you see like on Facebook or Instagram, it's like, if you had a choice to know the date that you would pass, would you want to know? I feel like it's that I don't, I would have been happy to go along with my life and not know that it's there and it rupture. And then I go to the hospital, like I'm in pain, I'm bleeding, something's wrong. But now my anxiety is fixed on, it could happen anytime it could happen anytime. So now I'm like in this bad mental space. I have to get everything ready for the kids to go back to school, which means freaking open houses, this and doing this and daycare, this and babysitting that my schedule is changing at work. Cause we're going back. My sister who usually babysits my sister is gone. So now my mom is babysitting my sister, my daughter and doing me a favor. Um, amazing by the way but it's just so much stuff that I have to do right now on top of being physically ill and my back I wound up finding through the CT scan I have a bulging disc and I have a degenerated disc so I just I just I'm not having a good time I'm sorry if that is messy but it is real I am as a mom just so stressed out and it's like it's obviously it's not my kids so it's not really anyone's fault 
it's just this time of year is already crazy in itself and now I have to tackle in my physical issues and everything else and I just feel the weight of the world is just pressing on my chest and I just I need to take a step back I have from the 12th to the 19th off in September which I cannot wait for um, I was supposed to go to a wedding in Texas but we wound up not being able to go I don't know I don't sometimes I just have to cry okay and I'm glad you guys are here for me to vent to and cry to but it's just all of that I'm changing my eating habits which you know you don't think is gonna be a big deal but it is a big deal I'm um, trying to cut out caffeine I'm trying to cut out it's not like tons of sugar or anything because I never really ate much sugar like but it's it's just the whole change of everything trying to track my meals trying to I don't and then finally doing what I need to do for my body and then being told yeah you can't work out for a month maybe more depending on what happens after the 21st I'm just having like a mini crisis so so I'm sitting on back because we're just chilling we did a little bit of door dashing a little bit ago um and now we're just chilling because it's finally nice enough to just sit on the back porch and chill on the weekend and I just realized I'm off on Monday because it's Labor Day, so I'm chilling. I have a birthday party to get. My nose it does. <laughs> I have a birthday party to go to tomorrow. Um, <laughs> from one to three, and he's so excited. <laughs> so I have not really done a lot of vlogging. I told you guys. I told you that it was a boring life for me. So we're gonna be bored together. <laughs> It is Saturday, the last day of my vlog. And let me tell you guys what I just did. So my friend's daughter's birthday is this weekend. It's her third birthday. And so I, I was invited to go and I accepted it on Facebook or whatever. And because it says Kayla's third birthday, I thought it was on the third. And I just had my family get up, get dressed, running around because I thought I was running late. And so I go on the Facebook post just to make sure it's one to three. It's tomorrow. My kids and my husband are probably going to put me in a closet somewhere. <laughs> They're so mad. I thought because it's in Kayla's third and I had it registered as September 3rd. Ugh. So whatever, we're up, here we are. We're gonna go get some coffee and probably go to the store. Emma, what do you want to be? I want to be Elsa. How do you want me to do it, Elsa? I want to be Elsa. How do you want me to do it, Elsa? No. Not going to do that. Not going to. You tilt it up and you're looking at nothing but my chin. I'm going to have to raise it back up and figure out where I like it. It's fine. I just love it. Where are we headed? Right now, I'm not asking you to act. Just tell me how many there are and I'll go with whatever you say. Which, by the way, now there's 13. <laughs> I think that this is a bust. No! <laughs> the thing is, Steven, the reason that I don't vlog a lot with you recently mm -hmm. is I feel like you you cannot when you're on camera you cannot be your genuine self you immediately go to like like you're trying to act that's Why? that's not true at all yes it is i do not know what you are speaking of and when it comes to a vlog like that's not the vibe for a vlog at least not for mine let me know down in the comments what you guys think. I, w 
I want you to be a more genuine self than like trying to be trying to be something you're not you know what I mean well what even am I a nobody <laughs> I said that with my whole chest but I didn't mean it <laughs> quickly too like you had that on deck so we're heading into caves this store was in a different area and now they moved it closer to our house now that it's closer to our house and it's brand new we want to check it out babe vlogging as you're walking. Huh? I think I want to get some... I think I'm going to get these. Stay spooky! So, oh my god, I love fall. Yes, get that. They have cute, like, little North Face-ish sweaters. I'm going to get one of these. How much are these? $27.99. You better be playing with me. Who is this even by? Free something. Free country. They're huge, though. Maybe they have frozen. Okay, so this place isn't as great as I thought. They have a lot of jeans, but again, they don't have like for me and Maddie who are petite, they just have regular size, but it's, it is pretty legit. I think so. How was the men's section? You said it wasn't that good? No. For the girls' section, that was pretty good. Okay, so exciting news and not exciting news. Not exciting news is I tried on several pairs of jeans in my size and they did not fit. And I just, I find that to be so frustrating because it's like predominantly women. Usually with men, you can, if you're 34, 36, you're 34, 36, wherever you go. Okay. Maybe taller, maybe not. For women, it's like every single brand you have to figure out what size you are. If I'm a 16 in this size, in this brand, but I just go to Target to buy a pair of 16s, they're too small, they're too big. It's insane. We're headed to the park with the girls. Okay, where are we going? We're going to the park. We're going to the park. Show them what you got from the store. What is your unicorn's name? Rainbow. Rainbow. All right, let's get in the car. Emma, where are we going? We're going to the playground. What is your unicorn's name? What is it, Nana? Rainbow. Rainbow. Yours is Rainbow too. You changed it again. What, Mommy? I asked Daddy to get scooter. We are headed to the park. Yeah. We're going to the big park today, aren't we? Yeah, the Annie's playground. Annie's playground. Well, it was only. It was very cool this morning. So I was like, yes, park. And now it's like freaking blazing hot. One thing about Maryland in the summer fall mix up is you got winter in the morning, spring in the afternoon, summer. Sahara. In the evening and fall or summer in the like early evening and then fall in the later evening. You get one of yeah, every. Girls. The park. We're on the park. Okay, stop saying the name of the park out loud. I want people to know that. <laughs> We're at the park. We're going to go play. We're so excited. Why is there fun? And Juicy. Pokemon. Why is there <laughs> To your left. Matt. Oh, he's a Gemini. Madison, you are something else. Water bottles and everything else. Do you know that your shoes are not tied? Yes, I know. Okay. Why is everybody just telling me that? We're going to go over here because we do it for safety reasons. Yes, yeah, so we don't. Alright, let me 
tell you what Karen did. Karen is my seven year old. So in this playground, it has like large wooden like things that they can walk up and hide in. I'm sure if you have taken a child to a big playground, be aware of what I'm talking about. So my husband winds up coming back down to the little kid area and I'm like, hey, where's Kay? And he's like, oh, she's up there, no big deal. So Madison comes back and goes, I can't find Kay. So I'm looking for Kay and some nice mother that I just met is helping me look for Kay, right? And I was talking to this mom like the whole time, you know, I don't get to talk to a lot of adults being teleworking and all that. Anyways, I digress. So my daughter, she found my daughter and she's like, hey Kaylee, your mom's looking for you. My daughter proceeds to run to my husband screaming stranger danger. And I'm like, and so then the woman and her husband are leaving and I'm like, thank you for helping. She goes, yeah, of course. And kind of just like brushed me off the whole time. She was having a conversation with me. Would you want to talk to me if you were helping me find my daughter? And she decided to scream, scream stranger danger. So a bunch of adults at a playground can look at you like you're trying to kidnap someone's kid. <sighs> Anyways, uh, that was not a friend that I made. Missed opportunity. Missed it by that much. <laughs> Thank you so much, Kaylee. Foiled again. You don't even know her. But that's how you make friends. Like, that is how you make... I don't make friends, Kaylee. I don't go to school. I don't do all that cool stuff that you get to do. So I'm at the playground, ready to make friends with other moms, and you just, like, accused her of trying to kidnap me. You know what I'm going to do? <laughs> Not let you do that. Oh, my gosh. This woman was probably like, bitch, are you kidding me? <laughs> I would never help look for a child again if that happened. I would never. Mm. So we're going to go get snowballs now because we it's are hot. Look at my heels. Yeah, I see it. So it's called Island Ice is what it's called. What are you doing? I got a sugar-free one, so it'll be lower in the calories, but I got marshmallows, so I might as well not have gotten sugar-free. I'll take, listen, okay, I got sugar-free so I could get marshmallow. I don't know, either way I got it, and I'm excited that I got it. I made Steven, so I was standing out there with them, and I made him go stand out there. It was so hot. There's so much sun, and I'm just like, my God. So we're going to head home now get our snowballs hang out out back put some tiki torches up probably so there's no bugs and then just enjoy the rest of our saturday right yeah say bye say bye hey guys i'm currently filming my what video is this my ulta uh, ulta haul my ulta haul which this is coming the vlog will be up friday the ulta haul went up monday so you've already seen the ulta haul but again to tell you if you don't have the lunar lips 101 ointment you need to buy it. You need to. All right, so we're going to move on to the next item. I got a lot of Jaclyn Hill stuff in here. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. I'm obsessed with yeah, this. Important. So it is currently, I don't know what time it is. I'll put the timestamp here, but it's in the evening. And I'm just going to close this up because me and Steven are going to go out in a little bit. I just got done filming my Ulta haul, which was up Monday. You've probably already seen it. If you haven't, I'll link it here. Go check it out. Um, I am currently wearing the new Jaclyn like strawberry collection. This one is in the shade Juicy. And she's juicy. She's good. Um, I'm drinking my Alani New. I have been doing really good with my eating and stuff. The only problem I'm having as an update. This is just an update. Um, in case anyone's asking. I know no one did. But the only problem I'm having is getting in the amount of protein that I need and the amount of calories I'm supposed to have. I've went down to 1900 calories and I'm not like yesterday I was shy like 200 and today I've had 260 in a coffee, 110 in a thing of hash browns from Duncan and then I had a sugar-free egg custard snowball so it probably didn't have that many maybe like two three hundred at the most um it was fairly small so there is no way I'm near 1900 calories. Like I probably have a thousand or more to go. Um, so that's the hardest part, I will say that, but I'll keep updating you throughout the vlogs, throughout the weeks, 
but I'm gonna close this one out because I'm just gonna go enjoy the rest of my Saturday and then tomorrow starts the new week and the new vlog. But I really appreciate you guys for coming along with me in this journey. I have been wanting to vlog for so long and to finally just have the courage to do it, to vlog where I'm going, like I'm still kind of shy, but just to have the courage to do it is just, it's a lot, it's a lot, but it's a good thing a lot. Thank you for being with me this week during my uh, emotional breakdown in the car. I really enjoy making these and I hope you guys are really enjoying watching them. Make sure you stick around, make sure you are subscribed if you're not already, if you're new, hello. And before you leave, give it a big thumbs up because it does help me out. And as always guys, make sure you leave me some love down below and I will see you on the next one. Enjoy your weekend, bye.